Hey guys, this is Hyder from X Trades, and in this video we're going to go over um, weekly review and we're also going to look at big picture and um, you know, look at 2023 as a whole and see how the market performed. So let's start off with SPY and QQQ as usual. So yeah, this was 2023, we started off around this level. So in 2022 we bottomed around October and then in 2023 we had a little um, dip going into 2023 and then ever since then we just had a really strong uptrend right um, every single time we made a low there were lower highs or higher lows so this was the first low higher low more higher lows and then here we end up we ended up pulling back in pretty hard and then um, there was a little downtrend here and then we broke that and then ever since that we had a really really strong rally and um yeah now we are very close to making all-time highs in the market so overall really bullish action and um yeah the <clears throat> the last couple of weeks have been insanely strong and we have just been pushing higher and higher um but overall the market did really really well in 2023 and uh yeah this opportunity and this opportunity were great times to um make some good money right there were good opportunities in both of these times um, and over here it was just uh, very choppy and you had to protect capital and over here it was also relatively choppy but yeah these uh, from March to June and then again from November to December were the best times to make money in the market um, but yeah overall SPY looks really really good here um, yeah like I said before we're really close to making new all-time highs but the market is quite extended we have we had one two three four five six seven eight green weeks in a row right and uh, that's yeah pretty big move so do expect some sort of pullback or some sort of consolidation um in the coming weeks but uh yeah overall the market did really well <clears throat> and we got our <clears throat> really nice uh december rally or end of year rally now let's take a look at qqq QQQ same thing but QQQ actually did make all-time highs this week so um, even more bullish and QQQ same thing it bottomed in October and then in 2023 or to start off 2023 it pulled back in and then ever since then it just made a really nice rally um, really strong uptrend here and then from the bull flag and then broke that and then another bull flag broke that and then uh, yeah, made a really nice move here, got extended, and then it pulled back in, created another really nice bull flag, and then it broke out. But yeah, overall, really, really strong action from QQQ, even stronger than SPY, as it's already making new all-time highs. But um, yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, eight, eight up weeks in a row as well. And um, yeah, very extended here. The, or, yeah, starting to get a little bit extended here. Um, just because it's been yeah eight weeks in a row so it would definitely be very normal to see some consolidation or some sort of pullback but the market is acting really really well we did have this uh, ugly candle on wednesday but we gapped up on thursday and then on friday we closed um relatively well so overall really good action um and if we were to pull back then 400 would be the key level so let's take a look at spy's daily chart yeah, spy also had a really nasty pullback on wednesday but then it bounced back bounced back pretty well uh to close the week out but yeah overall really good action and if spy was to pull back that 470 would be a key level but yeah that's pretty much all i got for the indices and um you know overall going into 2024 i would say we are looking pretty bullish but do expect do expect some sort of consolidation or pullback at the very minimum and uh, yeah, now let's switch it up to big cap tech stocks. Start off with Apple. Apple had a really nice rally and uh, it put in a consolidation bar this week. Let's look at the daily chart. Yeah, Apple looks fine here. It's just forming a bull flag here. So if, ap if Apple can break this downtrend, then there's a good chance that it'll make new highs and then hit that 200 level. But uh, yeah, overall Apple looks fine. Uh, you could potentially see 191.75 and then if it does that then you would expect to bounce off that but uh yeah as soon as that trend line breaks then apple is good to make another leg up um next up we'll start we'll look at amd amd had a really nice rally here um it all started with the earnings speed and then it had a really nice rally and then it pulled back in and then it had another nice rally and now it's starting to form a really nice flag here 
Um, it's been consolidating for quite some time. So <clears throat> AMD does look pretty good here. Um, and uh, yeah, you could expect a breakout above that 141 level. Um, yeah, AMD is a top watch for next week. And then let's take a look at uh, let's take a look at Broadcom. So Broadcom is also a pretty big cap tech stock. This one had a really nice rally. Um, yeah, it bounced off that 920 level and had an insanely strong rally. Look at the volume. That's some serious volume. You don't see this type of volume on big cap tech stocks, but this one does have it. So definitely pay attention to this stock. And now it's forming a really nice tight bull flag on the daily chart. And uh, yeah, on the weekly, it looks really nice here. Really nice base forming. Broke out, retested, and then broke out again with huge volume. This looks excellent. Um, yeah, and then let's take a look at Google. Google is also starting to break its base here, so this is really good action. Um, yeah, Google looks like it has room back up to... So since it's breaking this base, next resistance level would be around that 144 level. And uh, yeah, Google should have room all the way back up there. And next up, let's take a look at Meta. Meta is having a nice breakout again. And uh, Meta has room all the way up to... Um, so it has resistance around that 353 level, which is where exactly it closed. Um, and after 353, it has room up to 375-ish. So Meta still has a lot of upside potential, but yeah, really nice trend on Meta, and it's been holding up really well. Next up, Microsoft. Microsoft's been consolidating for quite some time now, and this 375 level is very key. So... Uh, if it can break that, then I'll be bullish on Microsoft, but for now it's just consolidating and acting well, so nothing wrong with Microsoft. Netflix. Netflix is also acting well here. Um, it's been trying to break this uh, base for quite some time, and uh, we did break it, and then we retested, and now we're bouncing off it again. So Netflix does have room all the way up to that 490 level, which it did hit this week, but rejected. And after that 490 level has room up to 562 um but yeah netflix is bull flagging here so if it can take out that 495 level then it should be good to go um nvidia nvidia had a really nice rally they hit that 500 level and now it's currently bull flagging here again so watch what happens here um but overall looks really strong and if it can break that uh, trend line then it has a good chance to make new all-time highs um let's see what else we got last one is tesla um yeah tesla has been acting very choppy since that breakout no real momentum yet but if it breaks at 257 level 257.5 level then there's a very good chance that we could start a big rally here and the uh, first target would be around that 275-ish level and then back to 300. Um, but overall, Tesla looks fine here. It just has to break through that 275.5 level. Um, but yeah, that's all I got for the big cap tech stocks. Now let's take a look at growth stocks. So ARKK had a really nice run um, from the October lows. Had an insanely strong uptrend here. And uh, yeah, it's been holding really, really well. And it's actually starting to form some sort of bull flag here. So let's take a look at the weekly chart, though. On the weekly chart, it looks extremely extended because um, it's just had such a big move right off the lows. So uh, it would be it would be good to see some sort of pullback or more consolidation here, and even potentially pull back to that 50 level and fill that gap. I think that'd be perfectly normal action. So um, do expect that, but overall. ARKK has been holding up incredibly well um, yeah and now let's take a look at some more individual growth stocks the firm has been one of the strongest one had a really nice rally here and then uh, from the two-day flag broke out and the low flag here broke out and uh, yeah it's just had a insanely strong move it pretty much doubled in like a month so or two months actually not like a month and a half but yeah very strong move here um, it still looks really good, but I would definitely expect for some sort of consolidation here. Um, next up, let's take a look at Camtech. So this one had a really nice base here, 
and then nice bull flag formed and then it broke out so this one has or had nice volume had nice volume on the breakout but it did pull back in pretty hard on friday but if we can consolidate here and then um, if it retest at 65 level that could be a good buy the dip area and then uh, kava kava looked or it looks really nice here had a nice bull flag forming broke out and now it's just consolidating here but kava has really nice volume here so that brought it to my uh or it, this made me get interested in the stock really nice volume so i'll definitely keep an eye on this one this one has potential um next up coin coin is going parabolic here just insanely strong rally um yeah nothing to say for coin it's just going higher and higher every single day really strong rally and the uh, next level of resistance would be around that uh yeah around that 200 level so coin still has a lot of room to the upside and uh it's definitely very extended here so i wouldn't be surprised if we do pull back next up crowdstrike crowdstrike's been really strong rally uh since like october and uh, now it's forming a nice bull flag here so this could be a good buy the dip opportunity um not much of a dip but yeah if it breaks that trend line then this could uh continue to run next uh carvana carvana had a really nice breakout at that 41 level and uh, ever since then it took off and now it's forming a little bull flag here so keeping this one whoops keeping this one on watch um a nice bull flag forming so yeah next up iot this one's just been consolidating really nicely since that big earnings uh, gap up with huge volume um yeah it's just been consolidating nicely here forming a little bull flag so if it breaks that 34.7 level then this, this could be a good buy um iren this one uh, had a really nice bull flag and then um broke out with huge volume so this one's definitely on top of the watch list uh, wa watching to see if it can form some sort of flag and then uh, yeah this one would be viable mara similar to coin this one's just going parabolic really strong volume um yeah insane move to the upside here and it's very extended here so um i'm expecting some sort of pullback at the very minimum and path this one similar to iot really strong gap up huge volume and now it's just been consolidating ever since um the 25 level has been a key area of support it's been three nice bounces off it so far so um if it can continue bouncing off it then we should see a move back up to 26.5 um let's go to snapchat snapchat had a really nice rally and now it's starting to consolidate very tightly here so this one's a top watch um yeah it looks really good here shopify shopify also had a really nice rally since october november time and now it's starting to form a bull flag here so keeping this one on watch as well um snow this one had a really strong um earnings gap up and then consolidated consolidated for a week or so and then i uh, had a nice rally and now it's pulling back in and um yeah if it pulls back into that 193 level that could be a good buy the dip area otherwise you could just wait for that trend line break and then buy this one and then so far this one had a really strong move had a really nice breakout here and then moved up and now it's consolidating forming some sort of flag here so keeping this one on the watch list as well and uh, sym this one similar to path and iot really strong gap up really big volume and it's just been chopping around ever since but i really like this weekly chart here um it's forming a really nice bull flag here so if it breaks that then this one would be a top watch um next up upst upst like carvana had a really nice short squeeze really nice breakout here and it's forming a nice flag here so um yeah worth keeping this on the watch list if it breaks that 46.5 level then this one can make another leg up but yeah that's all i got for this week thank you guys for tuning in and uh, have a good weekend and happy holidays